Well, I apologize for the late posting of this video. It is a little bit late. Uh, we've had some internet issues. And I was trying to download the video clips that I had um, because uh, they came from an older computer. Uh, they were saved in the cloud and then I couldn't get them downloaded uh, the past couple of days. Um, what was left of Hurricane Elsa blew through and last night dropped about three and a half inches of rain and the internet just wasn't cooperating. So I'm working on editing today and so you know this is uh, uh, Saturday the 10th of June and so you'll either see this video me talking to you now you'll see it either tonight or maybe tomorrow. This video is all about the outside ballast keels and some people would refer to them as bilge keels these aren't really located that far out towards the chine. They're closer to the center line, but they're far enough apart, uh, the twin keels, so that the boat can sit on the hard bolt upright. If you bring it into the shallows at high tide and the tide runs out, she'll just sit bolt upright. She won't lean over. And it also uh, will sit on the skeg as well, so you have three point stability. And so I started out by making a template for those uh, ballast keels. I can't find the video clips of that. I don't know what happened to them or where they went. But I did have video clips where I started making the molds for those keels where I'm going to pour the concrete into scrap steel. And those molds, uh, I started making those last fall and that's why it's been so long. It, it wasn't appropriate to add it to the um, added to the mix of videos of the boat being built because I wasn't really ready. The boat was still upside down. Uh, but I haven't finished making them. Uh, what you see in this video, that's, that's where they're at right now. I still have to keep going on them. But now is the time. The boat is off the, off the strong back. It's turned over right side up. And so now I'm at the point where I want to get those keels made and I want to get them installed. So, here you go. Uh, here's a compilation of the, uh, all the video clips that I took. And I'm going to mute the sound and add a little music because when I was making these things, I was totally, totally oblivious to what was going on. I was concentrating on what I was doing. But my CNC machine was running in the background, and that thing screams and screeches and makes a god-awful noise and it's very aggravating if you're watching the video because I started looking at the clips and I said oh this is horrible so I'm just gonna mute that sound so I hope you enjoy this you'll see what I'm doing these moles will become a permanent part of the keel I'm not gonna take them off after the concrete and scrap steel is uh, is poured they will stay in place uh, they're all coated with resin on the inside when they're all poured uh, you know, the, it's also going to have a coating of fiberglass uh, cloth and epoxy resin on the outside. And, uh, and this allows me to add some shape to the keel. Uh, it's kind of hard to do with the concrete and everything, but I can do it with the wood. Coat it with fiberglass cloth and, and resin, and, uh, and it'll all be good to go. And then I can just, as is, I don't have to do any more work of undoing molds or anything and just put it right into place. That's where I'm at. I hope you enjoy the video. And, uh, you know, please uh, like and share and subscribe and, you know, do all that good stuff. And I've uh, just completed uh, a video. I just posted it a little while before I started doing this to celebrate the 400 subscriber milestone on Shoestring Shipyard. And I announced the, uh, the winner of the giveaway. There's going to be another giveaway at 500 subscribers, so if enough people keep subscribing, we get to the 500 milestone. Uh, if you want to take part in that drawing, there'll be a bunch of good stuff I'll be announcing later. All you have to do is just mention in the comment below any of my videos between now and then, when I get to the 500 subscriber mark, just indicate that you want to be included in the drawing. That's all you have to do. 
providing you have a U.S. postal address. This is for U.S. postal addresses only. And, uh, and then after that, you'll have 30 days to contact me with your address if you are the winner. And I get the stuff sent right out. Thanks again for watching.
Sailor, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 